obviously Watchdale coming up on Saturday. Um, what's the preparation been like heading into that one? Yeah, it's the same as usual really. Um, with a game on Tuesday, the turnaround for the Saturday game is, is um, limited, but you know we've um, recovered well um, yesterday and coming to training today. Um, really good session this morning. Um, bright and bubbly, all the players and the staff. We've got another win um, into the next round of the Cup and um, it's all positive. So let's look at the Rochdale game into positive light and um, looking forward to the, to the occasion. And obviously going into the game, Watchdale obviously struggling as well, down the bottom on um, zero points. But obviously with no manager at the moment. Does that affect your preparation in any way, knowing like obviously the opposition manager? No, no, we're, we're only focused on ourselves. You know, it's about us and it's about um, how we apply ourselves, um, how we can execute the game plan. Um, um, as you can see by the game on Tuesday, we fully focused on, on ourselves. We, we um, looked at Fulham, but we knew that they would play a team that wouldn't replicate the team that they played in the Premier League. They're... Um, the, the game before so it's you just got to prepare for our, our own control that we can control and uh, individual performances and and you, when you do that you can apply yourself well and you'll have a good performance when you worry too much about opponents and everything else we have to be respectful which we will be but um, we've just got to focus on ourselves and obviously we've been unlucky with injuries this season um, is there anyone you're expecting to be back in for the weekend or is it just no, as we were no 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 um, update really on injuries um, we are where we are with the players that we have and um, We've just got to wait patiently for the players to come back. But players that are in the side, um, keep doing well, keep the shirt. And um, when those players come back, it makes it really difficult for them to get in the team. That's, that's the name of the game. And one person all the press picked up on on, on Tuesday night was mm. obviously Jaden Davis, who made mm. his debut for the club. How impressed have you been with him since he's arrived? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, you know, we've been... You know, people don't know behind the scenes what we've been doing um, in terms of our recruitment. And um, we haven't always... Um, signed players that have got loads of experience in the league and we made some, some big signings but also some players that we, we, we hope have got really good potential and can flourish within our environment and Jaden's one of three or four that we've, we've, we've brought in that we think have got real potential um, and as you can see we'll give them a platform to play um, he's done really well in pre-season along with others um, he deserves his chance and he took it really well on, um, on Tuesday night and shown what a really good play he can be going forward and um, we hopefully got a really good asset on our hands there and also, it was the return of uh, Nick Cerullo. Obviously, he's been out of a long injury for quite a while. Hasn't really had a pre-season for you guys. Again, have you been impressed with him since he's come back? Of course. Phenomenal performance on, on, um, on Tuesday. You know, not having to play um, you know, pre-season. And, um, you know, we were only really wanting to play him a really maximum of 60 minutes because he hasn't played pre-season games, but just felt being a cup game. And it was a good opportunity to play and, and get a start for us and get himself back to fitness. And um, the longer we have to wait for, for other fixtures um, with the B team, etc you know this it, it puts him back a, another week so we just felt Tuesday was a good opportunity for him to to get back in the team and he showed his quality in the first 45 minutes and obviously just reflecting on last night's draw obviously mm. we drew Burnley away which we played in November mm. um, what did you make of the draw for the club yeah it's great you know they've just um, been um, relegated from the Premier League so really big club um, full respect for their manager and how he plays football and his ideas and um, It'll be a good test for us to pit our wits against another really good side and high-level opponents. Um, it'd be a great night for the players, you know. Um, what the players did on, on Tuesday night uh, and the supporters, it's a night they'll never forget and they should never forget in, for the rest of their lives what they've done. Um, it's a special special night and um, it will li live long in the memory and, um, you know, we just got to try and go and replicate those those nights again. It can be done. Um, we'll go there as underdogs as, as normal, but we'll put a, try and put a, a really good account of ourselves again and uh, make it really difficult for Burnley. Amazing. Thank you. Pleasure. You talk about Tuesday night. It was quite a euphoric um, stadium to be in that night. Uh, how hard is it to refocus the group again going into Rochdale? Yeah, it, um, it can be because... Um, but you know, if you watch, um, you know, many um, teams at a high level, whatever, whatever sport we're, we're talking about, you have to replicate um, performances and have consistency amongst yourself. And you know, the, the small differences between the top level players and the players that are playing in League One, League Two, it's it's really around consistency levels. And um, our players can show on on one night um, they can perform to a really high level. Um, and and they did that, and now they need to do that on a more consistent basis in the league. And um, you know, they are the, some of the key things that we'll be looking to focus on, and and um, and hopefully have a really positive performance and result on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, and yesterday the club announced they've um, appointed a director of football. Mm. How um, how positive is that for the club? And it's quite a big step forward for a club like Crawley Town, never having that kind of position before. Yeah, it's great, and I think it's really um, another 
mark of, of what we're trying to do here going forward and um, we're trying to be different in things that we're doing we're trying to be forward thinking we want to make sure we every single area and department has real expertise uh, um, around uh, the facility and um, and the club and you know this is another way uh, and moving forward and, and direction for us to to help us be the best we can be in every area you know we know we're only league two but we want to try and have things are, uh, in place that um, you know are the highest level was possible so within our budget and um, you know it's a really good appointment it will take um, some some time for, for me to focus a little bit more on other areas of um, of um, the the football um, and less uh, around uh, operations and, and logistics and things but it's um, it's a really good appointment he's a really expert in, in what he does and we're looking forward to working with him yeah and obviously transfer window coming up next week um have you got plans to bring in some more players or players leaving yeah you will see what the window can can hold us um you know we've um, we've got a number of injuries we just have to be really um strategic in which um which uh, players we look to to bring in and, and obviously you know there's going to be it's difficult time for some players that haven't been playing games um that have been playing games in the past and are used to playing games and we can't play all the players and the, they and us need to make um, key decisions in terms of you know what's the best thing for them in their career and, and help them um, move on as well so there's going to be hopefully some some movement in going in and out but you know we can't promise we'll just see how it goes Jack, obviously now heading into Saturday's game, obviously off the back of a great win against Fulham on uh, Tuesday. What's the mood been like amongst the camp? Yeah, obviously positive after Tuesday night. Um, but obviously we haven't got too long before we need to start preparing for, for Saturday's game. So the attention turns to that quite quickly. Um, obviously enjoyed the game, the performance and the result. Um, and we'll just take as many positives out of it as we can. But whether you win or lose a game, there's always things that you can kind of learn from. Um, so we've gone over that today and then we'll take it into Saturday. Rochdale going into that one, uh, at the moment they're bottom of the league on zero points, but obviously we know this league's a very tough league. What sort of game are you anticipating going there? Um, obviously a tough one, like you said, like I think every game is, um, especially at this stage of the season, like people are trying to kind of um, figure out kind of what their best team is maybe, like some teams will know that already, some teams are probably just trying to, trying to find their feet if you like. And, um, yeah, it's a, it's an away game, so one where kind of we haven't got the backing like we had on Tuesday night, but I'm sure there'll be some people making their way out there to uh, to give us give us their best support they can. Um, but yeah, like, like I say, it will be a tough game, but but we're going there to win the game just like we do in the other game. And with yourself, obviously, there's been a lot of new signings in amongst the club. Um, one particular, James Balagizi, obviously playing just in front of you um, on Tuesday night and previously. Yeah. What's it been like working with him? Yeah, really good player, really good lad. Um, I think he'd probably say himself when he first came in, it, it took him a little bit of time to adapt, as it would with anyone, especially at such a young age. Um, obviously, I can remember what it was like being that age myself and, and being in a new environment and around like more men than probably what you're used to and, and kind of realising that kind of it's, it's a big thing to be playing for three points because you've got people's livelihoods that are on the line. Um, but yeah, he's adapted really well. Um, and sometimes it takes time like, for, for youngsters to really kind of implement themselves. He's obviously showed his ability um, on quite a few occasions now. Um, and now it's just about kind of getting consistent from his perspective. So if he can do that, he'll have, a, he'll have a good chance to have a great career ahead of him. And for yourself personally, I remember chatting to you a while back and we were talking about how long, obviously, you had a bad injury, which you were out for quite a bit. I think it was like 16 weeks in total. Yeah. And obviously, you've found yourself making your way back and now you're back in the side. How have you been finding it? Are you feeling like up to it completely now? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say probably I started to feel myself a few weeks back, um, so a lot later than what I anticipated. Um, yeah, and obviously then it, then comes the games, and uh, the games is the thing that really kind of gets you up to speed. Um, so yeah, I feel good. I feel like I'm I'm recovering well between games. Um, but yeah, it, it was a it was a fair amount of times out on the sideline. But I think that's something you just got to deal with. It was probably the first time I'm about to do it in my career, so it was a little bit strange for me. But you know, like once you're back in and you're playing, like there's an expectancy level, and and I expect a lot from myself. So um, I'll continue to just be positive with what I do, and uh, hopefully it amounts to us getting some wins. Perfect, yeah, thank you. Uh, Jack, um, there's a lot of changes over the summer in the club and that, and certainly and the style of play is one of the big things. How have you found adapting to Kevin's style? Um, I think that the style itself kind of suits me naturally just because, you know, we're trying to play through the thirds. I like to think that uh, I'm technically capable. Um, but again, it's, it's, you still have to adapt when you've been playing a certain style for such a long time. Um, 
it's just getting used to new ideas and new things because it's not just literally you go out there and you just pass the ball to each other like the specific movements maybe patterns that we might run and and things where you have to be in a certain position at, at, at a certain time and um yeah so I wouldn't say it's been difficult because I, I enjoy it and I think when you enjoy something like that then, then it becomes a little bit easier. Um, but I think that we've shown that we can mix it up. Um, it's not all about just playing one way, we, we've mixed it well. I think we mixed it up a little bit on Tuesday night and um, it works really well for us but um, there is like a philosophy here and, uh, and we'll stick to it as much as we can but ultimately we know that kind of winning games is the most important thing so it's a whatever it takes type mentality really. And you talk, spoken about James already. On Tuesday night, we saw Jaden Davis make his first start. Harry Ransom, first start, I think, for the club. Um, they played really well. I mean, the squad, you've got quite a good squad here, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it is important for, obviously, young players to get an opportunity. Um, and that opportunity comes when you deserve it. Um, obviously, it can come in different ways. There might be injuries. There might be different things that kind of factor that. But, um, yeah, I think them lads did really well on, on Tuesday night. And... Uh, they have to do that it's just something that's that's the way the game is at the end of the day um you get an opportunity to play and within your sort of first three games you, you have to show that you're capable of producing at the level um, and if you don't do that the harsh reality is that you, you might not get that many other opportunities um so i'm pleased with them lads that they did well like i say it, it can take time but um i think the training level is important as well that's that's one of them things you got to um make sure you're training to a level where you can you deserve the opportunity in the first place. And uh, then boys have deserved an opportunity to come in, did really well, um, and obviously really contributed to, to a great result. Yeah, and you're one of the more experienced group uh, players in the group now. Do you feel a, a leadership role for you? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think a lot of things kind of at a football club are unseen, aren't they? Like, do you know what mm. I mean? With with like fans, supporters, people outside of the club, media people, like you, you you want to get that a bit of access like, like we do through Charlie and, and people get to see things behind the scenes and there's a lot of things in football clubs that happen, probably a higher percentage of stuff that happens actually not on the pitch. So um, I feel like within the squad that I'm someone that people can look up to, someone that's kind of fair and honest about about how I feel that certain people are doing. Um, and hopefully like the standards that I set for myself rub off, rub off on people as well. So um, I am that sort of person that likes to kind of help people out when I can. And as you say, slightly more experience within the squad now. Um, getting towards 30 now, which is <laughs> a bit strange, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I'd like to think I am one of them sort of characters. Yeah, and um, looking back at Tuesday night, where does that rank in your Crawley career as highlights? Yeah, there's been a lot of highs in, in my Crawley career, to be honest, like, yeah. especially with the results that we've, we've had and a couple of the scouts that we've had. Um, I'd say it's right up there, definitely. I think that this kind of has to have a knock-on effect of positivity um, moving forward in the season because these kind of results can be quickly forgotten, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. if, if we don't go and be successful from this and, and start winning league games, then people forget about that, do you know what I mean? And uh, to be honest, I'd probably forget about that. If it wasn't a successful season, it won't be something I'll oh, but we beat Fulham. Mm -hmm. like, if we don't do well like with our league campaign and in other areas, then I won't be looking back and thinking, oh, we beat Fulham that year. It's just not one of them things that happen. Um, off the back of obviously beating Leeds, you can look back, yeah, we beat Leeds United, da da da. We thought we probably could have done a bit better that season, but it's still a fairly positive season. Um, so, yeah, I think off the back of that result is kind of what determines how memorable it will be. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Frank. Good, good luck, Sam. No worries. Thanks, Ledger. Yeah.